Hello and welcome into another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host Andrew Champagne. In just a moment we'll be joined by women's basketball junior guard Maya Gerling, but first let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Men's basketball has had a rough go of it as of late. They've lost two games in the past week. They lost at St. Peter's 77-69 on Friday night and then dropped a tough one at home to Ryder 68-60 on Monday. Both of those games featured comeback efforts, but then the Saints went cold in the final minutes of each contest. Siena is now 4-5 and five in MAC play despite the efforts of Ryan Rossiter who has averaged 23 points and 16 rebounds in the past two games. They'll look to right the ship on Friday night against Loyola. Swimming and diving lost their first meet in three months this past week, dropping a 182-106 to 106 decision against Northeastern on Saturday. Tri-captain Brittany Pavolko led the Saints with two wins in the losing effort. They'll look to right the ship on Saturday at St. Francis of Pennsylvania. And women's basketball has continued their transition into one of the top teams in the MAC as of late with a 65-52 win over St. Peter's on Monday night. Joining me now is junior guard Maya Gerling. Maya, welcome to the show. Thank you. Take, you back, take me back a few weeks here. The team was 1-8 and eight after mm -hmm. losing to Villanova on December 28th. Since then, the team's gone seven and two. What's been the biggest difference? I think we're just coming together as a team. Uh, I feel like we're playing really good. Um, everyone's playing together. Everyone is playing unselfish. And uh, I think the tournament in Fordham really helped us out, gave us a lot of confidence. And then we just kept going from there. Up until this past month, you hadn't had a 20-point game in your entire Siena career. Then in the span <coughs> of 12 days, you had three. What's been the biggest change? Uh, I don't know. I think, like I said, I think it's it's all about the team. Uh, when we're playing better together, we have better ball movement. Uh, we're better at finding the open player. And I just feel like that's been the biggest change. This week you host Iona. It's a pretty big game. Mm -hmm. They were your first MAC win earlier this month on the road. What did you learn about the team in that victory that could end up helping you guys this week? Uh, they're definitely a good team. Uh, I know they haven't won a lot this year, but they're definitely a, a great team. Um, I think, I think have, having a win already against them helped us. Uh, I feel like we know how to play them uh, to another win. Um, but they're definitely a great team, and so we can't, we can't take it easy on them. That game, of course, doubles as the annual Gold Rush game. Tip-off is at Friday night at 7 p.m. at the Arc. What kind of a weapon is that home court advantage when the fans gold out the arc like that? It's amazing. It's just, uh, it's, it's so great when, when we have a lot of fans there. It, uh, it gives us a lot of energy, and sometimes we, we need that uh, from the fans. Uh, of course, a lot, a lot of it comes from our team, but it just feels amazing having uh, all those fans and um, just a lot of people wanting us to, to do well and cheering for us. It's, it's amazing. A lot of things going on at that game. It's coaches versus cancer. They'll also be giving away a Serena Moore bobblehead doll, so definitely a fun event. Maya, before we get to the lightning round, I have something that I can't let go untouched. <laughs> you had two very similar instances this season where the game had to be stopped as you were running up and down the court. Tell us about what happened. Um, well, before every game, I get my, my one leg uh, wrapped. Uh, I had a groin injury uh, early in the season. And uh, it, beca it, it just unraveled. I don't know how it happened, but I'm really like, I don't want it too tight. So I always tell our, our trainer, Scott, to make it a little loose. Um, so it just came off and, and I was running. I don't know. I didn't know whether to stop or keep going. And, uh, and all of a sudden the ref was just, he was calling danger. It was, it was dangerous for me to run with this ref hanging down my leg. Uh, but it was just kind of funny how how it all happened and they had to stop the game. I had to come out and get a refix. But um, It's funny now because the team won both of those games, yeah, of course. That makes yeah. it a little bit more palatable. It would have been too on. good if you were lost, but yeah, yeah. we won. <laughs> all right. Lightning round time here. Your favorite movie? Uh, I'm gonna, we watched uh, Good Will Hunting the other day on the bus and I really like that movie. So I think I'm gonna go with that. How you like them apples? Uh, Thank you. I'm here through the week. All right. So, your favorite TV show? Uh, Friends. Why Friends? It's I, I just love the characters. They're so funny, and I've, I, don't know, I have the whole box at home. I've seen it a million times. You were raised in Denmark. What's the biggest difference between the European game and the American game? Um, I think 
I've always been used to playing a lot of motions. We didn't, we, we, or a lot of motion offense. We didn't have a lot of plays. So it's more just read and just do whatever. Like, I don't know, just read the defense instead of having a lot of plays. Uh, so I think that's, that's the biggest difference for me. Fortunately for you, Sienna, adapting that motion mm -hmm, offense yeah. this year. It's worked run wonders as of late for sure. Your biggest pet peeve? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. Um, we do our homework here. We really do. I know. Uh, I can't really come up with anything. Um, I don't know, maybe people are chewing with their mouth open, even though I do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. The biggest thing you miss from back home? Mm, my family, family and friends. They actually came for the uh, Fordham mm -hmm. tournament, as I recall. What was it like seeing them for those few days? It was great. Uh, unfortunately, my brother wasn't there, but uh, great to see my parents. And, and we had two wins, so it was amazing. Finally, last question. Mm -hmm. If you could have dinner with any three people, dead or alive, who would they be? I mentioned in the in the questionnaire uh, we had before the season for the media guys. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, um, that I would like to meet my grandma on my mother's side. I never got to meet her, and uh, I've just heard amazing things about her. So definitely her. Um, who else is there? Um, we talked about friends earlier, so I'm gonna have to go with uh, Phoebe and Chandler from from Friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're my favorites. Hey, whatever works, fills show. up two seats at the table. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank Maya Gerling for stopping by. I'm Andrew Champagne, and I'll see you next week.